I shoot food porn for my blog, Use Real Butter. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the how, the why, and the what of food pornography. And uh, when I tell people that I shoot food porn, I usually get this look, and they think that I'm shooting porn with food. But that's not what food porn is about. Food porn is about making food look amazing. It's about making food look so good that you want to eat it right off of the page. Of course, like pornography, food porn can elicit a physical reaction in the viewer. It's not the same physical reaction. Um, it's usually drooling, hunger, and saying, oh my god, I want to eat that so badly. Um, so, <laughs> stop it. Why do I shoot food porn? It's the combination of two of my passions, food and photography. And um, I'm a little OCD. I tend to document everything, so... Uh... Also, all the cool kids do it. I met Andrew Hyde at the kitchen because we were both photographing our dinner that night. <laughs> and that's, that's how we became friends, and that's how he wrote me into this talk. <laughs> but... I shoot food porn starting with quality ingredients because I shoot the real deal. I don't fake out my food with glue or shellac. Um, I'm probably the woman standing in line in front of you at the grocery store saying, can you show me more of your crab, which ones are better? So when you make food, um, there are just infinite opportunities for gorgeous shots and food bloggers tend to shoot the food that they make. Um, the other thing after you're done making the food is you want to style it. Believe it or not, there are professional food stylists. These people get paid to pimp out the plate. <laughs> I actually keep my styling to a minimum. I think food looks pretty darn good on its own. And um, then you shoot it, right? Well, actually, I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to operate your camera or how to develop your photographic style, but what I can do is give you a few pointers on how to get closer to that porn-tastic shot. Um, one thing is your subject should be clear and sharp. You wouldn't believe how many people can't get that right. Two things, focus and hold the damn camera steady. Once, once you've got the sharpness done, then think about the light. Lighting, you want to aim for balance. Forget about dim lighting, forget about hard shadows, forget about color cast. If you understand lighting, then your shots are guaranteed to be pretty good most of the time instead of just hoping for a good shot every now and again. Then finally, composition is something that I think that defines the style in a photographer. When you shoot food porn, don't include the whole dining table. Get in close, alter your, your perspective, make it interesting. And of course, one of the great things about shooting food porn is you get to eat it after you're done shooting. <laughs> but before you go out and shoot all of your food porn, uh, I want to dispel two myths that are prevalent on the web. It makes me crazy. Myth number one, you need a DSLR to shoot food porn. That's horcus. I have friends who shoot awesome food porn with compact cameras, and I also want to point out, if you are a sucky photographer and you buy a DSLR, you're a sucky photographer with a DSLR. <laughs> Myth number two, never use flash. Uh, that's also BS because people can use artificial light and manipulate it so that it mimics natural light and you won't know the difference. People who say never use flash pretty much suck at using flash. Okay, so there are a couple of blogs that I want to plug because they're awesome. Matt Wright is a Seattle food blogger. He writes Wright Food. He's an artist by day, but by night he creates these gorgeous plated dishes, and you really have to check them out to appreciate it. Also, Todd Porter and Diane Koo, they are professional photographers and cooking instructors in Southern California, and their, their blog is called White on Rice Couple, and they, they produce gorgeous shots as well. I've been to their house, and I've eaten their food. Finally, my good friend Helen McSweeney, she writes the award-winning blog called Tartlet. She's a professional pastry chef. She's also a photographer, food stylist, and a cookbook author. She's an expat Frenchie living in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. You'll gain five pounds going to her blog. But most important, I want you to have fun. Jeremy, where are you? All right. <laughs> if, you're if you're feeling hungry, Jeremy will dole out the cookies while I say... Thank you to all of the people that helped contribute to my Ignite talk. Thanks, guys.